Hi everybody, this is Doug Matuzak, Boa Basement. I want to show you some of the uh, the baby lab Boa Basement Lavender Albino Boas that we had this year. Um, the quick story behind these, back in the 2009-2010 breeding season, I bred a female uh, orange style hypo 100% head for sharp strain back to her nephew, which was a visual uh, orange tail sun glow, meaning orange tail hypo and sharp strain albino combo. And four babies came out totally different than just the regular sharp strain and sharp strain sun glows that were produced. Uh, back in the day, even in my earlier videos, probably from 2013 through 2015, I referred to them as Lavender Sharps. Well, over the last, now, now none of the, I only got one litter out of that original group of uh, Lavender Albino animals. Uh, and they were Hets. Uh, one of the males bred an animal known as a Silver, which is another dominant gene, meaning that some, no matter what you breed to it, some of the babies will come out with a silver appearance. Uh, we've never proven out a super silver at this point. So so we just call it dominant as opposed to a co-dominant gene. So the those hats I grew up from 2014 and in the 2017-2018 breeding season, I got a few litters and... The only albino animals that were produced from those few litters that I had from those head-to-head -head breedings were all this lavender albino appearance. No animals, no albinos looked anything like what a normal sharp strain albino would look like. In the 2018-2019 season, I duplicated those breedings again, and once again, all albinos came out as this lavender form. And that's why I now refer to them as the Boa Basement Lavender Albino Boas. Because we're not getting any sharp strain looking animals out of these at all. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the original animals left anymore. They all passed away from one reason or another from the babies that were produced in 2010. But now we have uh, some brand new stock to start growing up. And uh, this is the baseline lab, Boa Basement Lavender Albino right here. The only one I ever had, because the other three that were produced in 2010 all had the hypo on them, and I named those Lavender Glows. But the only lab, baseline lavender that I had, we grew up, and her colors were lavender, purple, this crazy fluorescent orange, and a big red honking tail. Uh, there was no white on her at all as an adult. It was all gone. I'm sure there's very little light white on this animal right now as well. But she she has a lot of uh, coloring up to do by the time she's an adult. And uh, as an adult, they are frankly one of the most stunning looking uh, natural pure animals out there today. So that is the lavender boa basement lavender albino uh, what we'll do next is put in the uh, lavender albino with the hypo on it or also known as a lavender glow by the way the guy taking the videos for me today is nick riato he plans on uh, overtaking me in the industry <laughs> and Reading everything to blood boys. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I've now just placed what is known as a lavender glow, which is a boa basement lavender albino and an orange tail hypo. Um, if you're familiar with what what a regular sharp strain sun glow would look like. It, it, these are two completely and utterly different animals. Nick was uh, remarking on how much coloration has already come into this little girl in the handful of months that she's been alive. Are you having issues? No, everything's going oh, okay. good. I thought someone was trying to escape on you. <laughs>
so that that is uh, it, it, we're we're still it's, it's such the beginning of this project because some of the you know the original visuals that were born in 2010, as I had stated, all passed away from one thing or another, and then uh, we in, we're, we're trying it now in in the dark. How's it looking in the camera, Nick? Picking up some really nice purples in the tail section. I mean, it's just unbelievable for this age. Right, and you know, Nick was not around back in the day when I had these things originally, and they were just spectacular then. And I mean, and there, there were so few of them. We were only talking four animals. Now we have almost double that over the last two breeding seasons to work with and you know each one of them is going to be a little bit different than the rest and you know you're going to have some with that are just going to race to the front with coloration probably others are going to be a little bit different but I mean no matter what each and every one of them is just completely unique and different from anything out there today in the industry so that is the Orange tail hypo, boa basement, lavender albino combination. We're gonna be ready for the next one in a minute. Bring it on. Alright, let me make sure you turn the light off so I gotta check. <laughs> Alright. This is what you get guys and get a new camera guy. He turns the light off on a blind guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the lighting. <laughs> I gotta feel around in this box and look, this little guy is gonna be grumpy. Oh, oh, this is a little grumpy. Alright, let's try and sneak this fella in there. Where's a good spot to put him? Right here, a little bit further. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't want to lay him on top of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now this is the boa basement line of lavender albino boas. With the that uh, that gene I told you about, the silver. Now, what the, what the silver is? The silver is an animal that popped out in a local breeder here in Cleveland, Ohio, at least, God, 12, 15 years ago. And he had, all he did is breed two normal, unrelated Colombians to one another, and one or two of these things popped out. Well, another guy I knew at the time said, "Hey." What do you want for him to get? And the guy that made him didn't think much of him. And he said, give me a hundred bucks. So the guy at the time, my old camera guy, Frank, uh, who's no longer around here for many reasons, uh, is uh, he made some, I got some from him. And, and what these silver animals look like, I, I basically refer to them as our Bolivian silverback a version of pure Colombians. I mean, they're just they're just absolutely magnificent in their own right. So there's a lot of dark coloration in them, plus the beautiful silver background. And now we've got that onto this lavender platform. And so far the results, you know, look pretty damn good from what we see. And uh, what we'll do, I made a, I made uh, one last year. We're going to show you the uh, the yearlings either at the end of this video or we'll, we'll make a new video with the uh, yearlings. The long-awaited, uh, you know, when I told you guys more than a year ago that I'd get it free in six months, well, time flies and now those animals are damn near a year and a half old. So, <laughs> so this is uh, what you see here now in this tub is the beginnings of just just magnificent things down the road. With this lavender stuff, think dark jeans. I mean, I believe the lavender motley is going to be a complete knockout. Uh, lavender IMG, the same. Lavender IMG motley, probably going to be completely outrageous because that will be the one that we have a chance of making a pure purple boa constrictor. And then, uh, you know, just, and then now get, getting other genes into it, such as the. Uh, the co-dominant gene I have over here known as the pastel dream which I've been working with now for over 20 years and uh, just a lot of other stuff I mean th things that I would never put into these what others would you know, you, you know for you guys that have no 
qualms about crossbreeding. What do you think a lavender leopard boa is going to look like? Or a la lavender blood? I mean, those things could be pretty spectacular. So, that is these guys, and we're going to stop it now and take a look. And This might be the end of this video, or you might see something right afterwards. If not, there will be a second video made of the yearlings. Thanks for watching, guys.